Welcome back. Although art may not have the power to provide answers, it clearly does have the power to question and inspire change. It is in this spirit that Jagat Veerasinghe, one of Sri Lanka's best-known artists, presents his new collection of art, titled Celestial Fervor. A critique of the euphoria that pervaded the South following the end of the war, the artist questions attitudes that enable authority, religion and society to become complicit in violence. In our final story this week, Jagat takes us on a personal tour of his exhibition. I'm doing my job as a citizen and an artist. You see, if I don't do that, why did they give me free education here? Yeah. It sounds rhetoric, but the point is, as an artist, my job is to think beyond the surface. After May 19th, you know, I was driving down home and you know, people stopped my car and made me eat kiribat and all, all that. That's all right, like, all right, like many people celebrating is all right. And I also felt a sense of relief after the, so, after the end of the war, like, but then, I, at least for me, I didn't see so many, I didn't see that much of reason to be that jubilant because we are talking of 6,000 soldiers, 300,000 IDPs and so much human suffering. I'm not against the government as such, I'm a very Rajapaksha means, you know, <laughs> pro-state, but that's besides the point. I'm a citizen and I have a right to this color, you know, I'm a Buddhist. This color is my heritage. <laughs> I also have a right to this color. They cannot take it to the parliament and make it their suit of their, like, of their political party because I kneel down in front of this color. I worship this color. You know what I mean? I have a right. So when they did this, all this thing, I said, and made me eat Kiribati and all, I said, no way, this is not acceptable. <laughs> all these are mannes and these, you know, what is interesting is, this is exactly the, my, these two are my mannes. I use them at kitchen. I put the manne and, and did the outline. So I'm, uh, I didn't paint it as such, I copied it. So it's a real exact trace of a kitchen knife, of a traditional kitchen knife. So that's the metaphor I'm using, you know, kitchen knife as, and the domesticity of violence. This is a balustrade, you know, a balustrade, or korvagal. You know, this is, the, these things you find at Anuradhapura Purana or all the historic buildings as, at the entrance, you know. So these are part of our great uh, grandeur of Sri Lanka's past. But what I have done is, is while it's a balustrade, in its appearance I have subverted everything about it. A balustrade is supposed to be on the ground. It has to be stationary, it has to be black, it has to be strong. It, it, it gives a sense of that you cannot break me like. But I did... I subverted everything and I made it fly and it looks like ice or transparent, it's breakable because on that day of, after the, the war thing, you know, these celebrations and the way that everyone was talking about, I all of, all of a sudden I felt like, you know, there's a major break within our cycle. <laughs> This whole story, or this whole campaign about the soldiers, what we are doing is we are taking their personal identity out of them, or their personal stories, personal anxieties, or their human suffering, and make them something else which is palatable to the ruling class, or the authority, or, or, or for nationalist thinking. So instead of being soldiers, we make them war heroes, or, or Ranaviru. Because Ranaviros have no names as such. It's not Madhushanka or it is not Sarat or Jagat, it's a Ranaviro. Ranaviro is a very generic term. I have always been, you know, critiquing, attacking it. We, we are actually taking their, you know, their, life, their human aspects away from them. And they, you know, where we brutalize them. But that you cannot blame. They are soldiers, they are supposed to fight, they are supposed to kill enemies. But then, as a citizen, I'm not just going to look at them just like that. They are also human beings, they are my brothers, they are my friends. My point is, you know, it's not critiquing the government, it's critiquing myself. I'm part of this society. What is your role as 
as a citizen, like, you know, don't you negotiate with that. You elect a government and there is terrorism. Every government has a right to attack, you know, curb this, that's all right. But I'm not the government, I'm a citizen. Of course, you know, the government deserves a lot of credit and all that, but it should not take my criticality away from me. It cannot take.